Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we are reviewing the Iron Master Quick Lock Adjustable Dumbbells. These are one of the most popular adjustable dumbbell options that are out there. I know, I know you guys are like, oh, when are you gonna come out with the best adjustable dumbbell review? Video, it's in the works. The problem is I still have two that I've got to get from Bowflex. One, the 552s and the 1090s. Then I have one other set. All of them are on order, except I kind of had to pre-order them, so they'll be in soon. However, if you'd like to see that video, make sure you subscribe because it'll be coming out. But for now, I want to review what we have on hand, and particularly the Iron Masters, because I get asked about these all the time, in particular, in comparison to the power blocks. And I'll do a review more in depth on those in comparison there. And we've done a review on the power blocks, but the Iron Masters specifically are a different beast. Now I want to say from the beginning, these are good adjustable dumbbells. I don't know if I think they're the best for most people. However, they are very good adjustable dumbbells that for a certain type of person, and I'll define that person here in a moment, these are the best option for a certain type of person. Depends on what type of person you are, what type of training you do. But really the unique thing and the great thing about these is they are very similar to any sort of Olympic style dumbbell where you just throw plates on the top. The difference is these are a much quicker way to adjust. And that's one of the things about Iron Master is they aren't making overall some of the best equipment. Some of their stuff is kind of on the cheaper end made of equipment, like their Super Bench is a very cool bench but it's not the highest quality. However, they're pricing them really well, and I think this is a good example. They are coming out with some very unique ideas. They're importing them. These particularly are imported. However, they're very unique, and they're doing some things that are very thoughtful, in particular, the quick lock system. So there's a lot of spin lock type dumbbells that are out there. The difference is this has a quick lock which is a patent you know, design that allows the weight adjustment to happen very quickly. So just to show you very quick the quick lock system, the way that it happens is you unscrew this, which by the way, this bad boy is knurled. Not only is the handle knurled, but also this little end cap. And honestly, the knurling on the end cap is more symmetrical, like even, compared to the actual handle. It's a more aggressive knurling, but I think it's pretty cool that it's been knurled. So you just slide this to unlock. It goes to a point where it's got an open shaft and you pull it off. Most spin locks, and I've got a couple here that we're reviewing, Pepin's, that's an example, and also bad ass dumbbells, that's another example. But this one, the reason that this is a better design is it unlocks, but you can pull it out much quicker. So the shaft is like ribbed right here, but then the rest of it's sh smooth. So you put it in, it dials in basically all the way to the point that you want it to be. You do it like a quarter turn and you're locked in. Most other dumbbells, you're sitting here like, okay, unscrewing this forever. Okay, finally you get it out. It's just really annoying where this system, you get it to that point where it's unlocked and you can pull it up, okay? The other unique thing about this is for an adjustable dumbbell is it's a normal shape. I mean, it's not like a normal exact dumbbell shape, so it's not like it looks like a hex head dumbbell, right? Like it's got a hex head or like a, a urethane dumbbell has a circular head. However, I will say it is more similar to a normal dumbbell in feeling than a power block. Okay, so power blocks are a unique dumbbell, which we've reviewed in the past. I'm a big fan of power blocks. However, there is some downsides to power blocks. And one of the biggest downsides is the shape is much different than a normal dumbbell. It's got you know, these rails and things in the way. If you want a dumbbell that feels very similar to a normal dumbbell, that's kind of where the Iron Master comes in. So you maybe basically unlock it, and now you can add multiple plates. So if you want to add fives, you add them on either side. It's got this really nice ribbed bottom that kind of stacks on top of each other, connects really well, and then it's kind of locked in. And then if you really want to lock it in, you just put this on and tighten it down. So it's very smart, very quick to adjust. However, it's not the quickest to adjust, okay? And I'll talk about that when I compare those specifically to the power blocks. But it's not, that's one of the downsides, in my opinion, 
is the fact that it's not as quick to adjust as I think most people would want. So the benefit is that it feels very much like a traditional dumbbell. When you're using it, there's not a lot of stuff clanking around, like it's very even. Um, it feels like a normal dumbbell would. And when you go heavy with it, it's very nice in that way. It's not overly bulky, everything like that. However, when you go to change the weights, it's an exhaustive process. It just takes a while. They made it quicker with this, so it's easier to come out. But then you gotta sit here and you know do a bunch of weight math because you gotta decide you know, how much weight's gonna be on there. And I get it, it's not that much math, but when you're in the middle of a set or something and you're trying to do a super set or something in that nature, it's very difficult to go from say 60 to 20 to 60, you know, back and forth, back and forth during your set and actually hit the movements you wanna hit. Whereas with power blocks or new bells or some of the others, it's just a quick change or a quick slide out and you can adjust the weight and it tells you what weights that's there. This one, there's no identifier other than the little plate marking that says five pounds or two and a half pounds to tell you exactly what weight you're at. So you're just having to sit there and kind of like, you know, okay, I've got one five on this side, two fives on this side, okay, I need a little bit more, and then you're having to like determine the math. I think it'll get quicker over time, just like it would with, say, a barbell. You throw a 45 on each side, you automatically know it's 135, 25 on the top, 185, another 45 on. That sort of math gets ingrained in your head after you've done it a while. That would probably happen with this, but I'd still say it takes a lot longer, and it's one of the biggest downsides to the Iron Masters versus some of the competition. Now, just a quick direct comparison between the Iron Masters, the Power Blocks, and the New Bells, because these are some of the most popular ones that are out there. Again, I'm gonna do all of these in a big, you know, compendium article and review here soon. But for right now, this will give you a good idea. The benefit to the Power Block is it's the most similar to a normal dumbbell, okay? The downside is it's not as quick to change as Power Blocks or New Bells, and the handle is kind of long. Just to show you, it's right around six and a half inches, the whole handle. If you do like a measurement on a standard hex head dumbbell, they're more around five inches, which is kind of where the power block is, and the new bell is even shorter than that. So the problem with a longer handle is it just feels kind of a little bit awkward when you're pressing or doing some certain movements, like let's say you're doing hammer curls or things like that, you put your hands to the edges. It's just a little bit excessive. The reason they do that though, is so you can get these quick locks on either side, so basically, basically, basically. Look, I'm a, l a little more complex than you guys. And uh, uh, basically, these the heads on these aren't hitting each other. That's the reason they make it that length. So it's kind of something they have to do. However, it does feel less than desirable, I would say, to have such a long handle. My wife would say the same thing. The power blocks, however, have a shorter handle. It feels more even. I think for most people, the shorter handle would win out. Pricing on the Iron Masters are right around 700 bucks for the dumbbells that go up to 75 pounds and includes this stand. This stand is, eh, it's okay. It's like really thin sheet metal that, you know, rocks back and forth. It's nice to have a stand. I do like stands and it's nice they threw it in, but it's not like, don't expect like a premier, you know, nice thick gauge stand. It works and I think it'll work for most home gym owners. But for 700 bucks, you get all that up to 75 pounds. These are imported. When you compare them to power blocks, I think they're a little bit more, just depends on the model you're looking at, but they do have a knurled handle. Power blocks with knurled handles are very expensive. Um, and the ones that go up to 90 pounds are even more expensive compared to the new bells. They're a similar price. New bells go up to 80 pounds. It kind of feels like they're competing with Iron Master on the price, but it also doesn't come with a stand. It just comes with the little racks. So the price is equitable. It's comparable to most that are out there. Basically what I would say, if you want an adjustable dumbbell that can go very heavy, these can go up to 160 pounds, 165 pounds um, with the add-on kits. If you want a very heavy dumbbell and you don't plan to use them for supersets, you don't mind the longer handle, you want a good value adjustable dumbbell and you want to use it for movements that feel like a traditional dumbbell, then the Iron Masters are a tremendous option, a great option, okay? I'm a big fan of them. I don't, I don't necessarily think they're the best for everyone, but I think for that person that meets those requirements, they're fantastic. I'm a fan. Okay, this has been Coop from Garage Room Reviews. We'll see you next time.